Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the most common abbreviation used in the civil engineering. And every civil engineer should know about this common abbreviation. Starting with the first one, which is known as the ASHTO. You might have heard this ASHTO in a simple form, ASHTO. But its abbreviation is that American American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. They mostly provide the recommendation for different types of the payments and also for different structural designs. Officials. So American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. They provide the different codes uh, for the design of different structural members and this is the organization based in the America. The second one is the ACI which is also based in America and it is uh, the ACI stands for the American Concrete Institute American Concrete Institute and they have different codes for different structural members. For example, for the design of beams, they provide different minimum thickness of the beam and for different types of the slabs, they have different codes. Similarly, also for uh, designing of uh, columns, for designing of retaining wall, they provide different codes. And this organization is known as the ACI simply or the American Concrete Institute. The third one is the ASTM, ASTM which also provide code for different uh, testing material and for different uh, design of the structural member. It is known as the American. These are the most commonly used in the civil engineering. If you design any structural members, you will, you might have hear these uh, organization names. ACM stands for the American Society for Testing and Material. Now, the most commonly used is the fourth one is the dead load, which we mostly use DL or live load LL or VCEL, which is environmental load. So, DL, when we have D dot between these two, it is known as the dead load. DL with dot. LL with dot means live load. There should must be dot between these two alphabets. E, e L means environmental load. So when we see this uh, simple form of the loads, we should must be kept in mind that these represent the loads. It should represent the dead load, live load and environmental load. The fifth one is the LW. Now, when there is no dot between these two, it means it is now different from that of the load. LW means that it represents the lightweight. And uh, the LDL, when there is no dot between these two, there is no dot, it represents the development length. Development length. So there is a huge difference between dead load and development net. So when there is a dot, it represents the dead load. When there is no dot, it means it represents the development length of the uh, steel bar. The next one is the IS. It is also, also most commonly used in the Indian standard, which, which represents the Indian standard. And when it is ISI, it means Indian Standard Institution. When it is sim simple IS, it means Indian Standard. When it is ISI, it means Indian Standard Institution. And the IS provide different codes for the design of structural members. For example, it is similar is that of the ACI, but Indian Standard provide different codes according to their own uh, region in the Asia. So the next one is the OGL which most, mostly we commonly see this OGL in our drawings 
which represent the original ground level original ground level the next one is the WSD one is the WSD and the other one is the USD there are different design methods for the designing of the structure member one is the WSD which is the working stress design method there are two design methods that should be kept in mind one is known as the working stress design method in which we mostly kept uh, half of the uh, design of the material half of the strength of the material factor of safety mostly we take the two in case of the working stress method what in ultimate state method an ultimate ultimate strength design method we have uh, we decrease the uh, we, we reduce the uh, material strength and also increase the affected load on the structure so this method is known as the working stress method and this will be an ultimate strength design method these two methods are used for the design of the structure members the next one is the SCCC SCCC which is also most commonly uh, we see in we seen in the drawings to represent the type of the concrete it is known as the self compacting concrete the next one is the RBW which represent the reinforced brick work mostly also see this type of the uh, simple form of the RBW which is the reinforced brick work the next one is the LWC which represent the lightweight concrete here we have only LW which represent the lightweight but when we have lightweight C it means lightweight concrete lightweight concrete also we have OPC hope I hope that you know about OPC which is the ordinary Portland cement ordinary Portland cement and other are the PCC which represent the plain cement concrete and RCC which represent the reinforced cement concrete plain cement concrete and RCC means reinforced cement concrete when when the cement is being reinforced with the steel bar then we call this type of the reinforcement that it is reinforced cement concrete it is not necessary that it must be with steel bar it might it might be happen that it uh, we reinforce this concrete with the polymer bars but the reinforcement of the concrete with another type of the bars will be known as the reinforced cement concrete and simple concrete will be known as the plain cement concrete so these were the different and most commonly used abbreviation in civil engineering hope you guys understand and i hope that you remember this by heart and don't forget maybe in your exams or your interview hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video